Hello and welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll update you on the GLIAC champion, Ferris State men's basketball squad. We'll check in with Bulldog hockey and women's basketball as well. All three teams returning home to the Ava Clavin Sports Complex with big games this week, though. We'll start first with Bulldog basketball. I'm joined by head coach Andy Bronkham. And coach, first of all, welcome, and congratulations on winning the GLIAC championship. Thanks, Robert. Certainly, I know uh, it says a lot for uh, the way your kids have been able to respond this year and obviously had a great team coming back, but uh, they've put it on the line each and every night and winning the conference championship in outright fashion. Yep, picked number one in the preseason and uh, went coast to coast with that target on our back, and that's a, that's a nice accomplishment. Um, in the years past, we've, you know, we've been a lower seed win the conference tournament or you know, just haven't had this big of a target on our back. So it was a new challenge, and the guys met the challenge, and I'm proud of them for that. But uh, still a lot of basketball to be played, and a lot of good basketball teams playing well, coming into their own, and uh, we'll, we'll have to try to beat those teams when, when we play them. I know uh, before we get into uh, the highlights of this past weekend, happy to be back at home. A tough four-game road swing, but uh, your team able to uh, find a way to get a win and a couple dramatic victories in there. Oh, real dramatic. Uh, games we'll, we'll never forget, and, you know, that road trip was – you know, of concern, major concern, right when the schedule came out. And, uh, you know, we had a lot to occupy our minds and our thoughts before then, but once it came, it was like, wow, what are we going to do here? Um, this is quite a challenge. So, you know, we, we started out, you know, at tipping, close at half, had a little momentum going in half. We were able to win that one in the second half. And then to Ashland, came out strong. But they came back, took a double-digit lead. And we made that crazy shot. You know, Pete made that crazy shot to force overtime, won it in overtime. And then had a little momentum, but going to the UP where none of the North Division teams had, had won any games this year. And, uh, you know, we played pretty well against Tech, but they're just a hard team to defend. And they came up with the lead down the stretch. And, you know, we needed basically a miracle, and it happened. We got a rebound on a free throw, kicked it out for, for three, and <laughs> Noah made it at the buzzer. And then we won that game in overtime. And then we were just able to, um, you know, grind out a victory against Northern Michigan, who, who, you know, was was making shots against us. We weren't defending that well, and, and they were they were playing and scoring at a high rate, but but so were we. It was kind of a battle of, um, you know, they went a little small and we were going big, and we were both having a hard time guarding each other. But we, over the course of 40 minutes, pulled that one out. So that that sums up the four games, and um, a lot of crazy things happened. Especially those two shots were unbelievable. So we go to the highlights. We'll start first with uh, Thursday's game at Michigan Tech. And obviously uh, here in the first half got out to a, a good start and really shot the ball well from the outside in the first half. Shot it well. You know, they, they run a pack line, you know, sagging in defense. So they're going to dare you. And we made nine threes in the first half, which, you know, for us is, is great. You know, it's a little easier if you're open. Um, but it's a little bit of fool's gold. And uh, D'Lo caught fire like we've seen him do a couple times here early in his career made four of those threes pretty consecutive. You know, that's a spot up practice shot there, but you know, that's not peach bread and butter. And you know, there's a little bit of fool's goal for us to make those nine threes. Not that we don't have the talent to do it, but that's, that's not what we're trying to do is make nine threes in the first half. Obviously uh, here Noah King with the big shot is uh, battle Michigan Tech here in the first half. And obviously uh, they've got a, a veteran team led by Kyle Monroe. Man, he's good. And uh, they, have, they have good players and uh, if we weren't competing against each other all the time, I'd just like to show up to a couple of their practices to hear what, to hear how they teach their motion offense and uh, you know some of the vocab they use and some of the drills that they might use to wrap it out. But they're hard to guard, and uh, it starts out with the talent that they have, but it's also the teaching, and uh, I'd like to figure that out a little better. Here, going down the stretch, a tight ball game uh, was back and forth uh, here, going down the stretch, and obviously a. Uh, your team with a, a veteran uh, group of guys that uh, certainly know how to find a way to make some plays down the stretch. That was a good over-the-top pass there, and then that was a bad one. So we needed that one. Um, but then we got this rebound, a kick out for three, uh, force overtime when uh, we really had no prayer. But uh, it was answered, and we went to overtime. But, uh, yeah, we got, we got a nice team that never says die, and that's good about our team. So. Here, uh, kind of like the Ashland game, uh, once you got into overtime, uh, after getting the miracle, uh, you certainly uh, made some big plays to take uh, take advantage and take control in overtime. Made some big plays, big shots. You know, Kush and Noah sparked up, and um, you know, I thought we got a couple good stops down the stretch, but it's still hard to defend Kyle. And you saw that step back three made. Kush was all over him, perfect defense, and you just say, "Wow, great shot." 
Certainly uh, taking on Michigan Tech. Uh, then Saturday at Northern Michigan, always a challenge to win in the Upper Peninsula. And it's tough, and, and both those teams, I, th I think you'll, I mean, if we're moving ahead a little bit, um, next year they're going to be two of the top teams, if, if not both the favorites. You know, preseason polls, who knows, they might give it to us just based on what we did in the past. But as far as returning talent, returning points and players, those two teams, um, they're good right now, and then they're going to be really good next year uh, again. So tough place to play, and uh, we just went out, tried to defend a little bit better, and and uh, you know, over the course of 40 minutes, we did. Here against uh, Northern Michigan, and obviously again in the first half here, uh, kind of a high-scoring game uh, here against the Wildcats. Yeah, two pretty good offenses, and uh, you know they score a lot of talent points. They're, they're so talented, we could be in the right position, and uh, you know they can make the shot. You know, right there, Deshaun slips a little bit, so Cole had to come up a little early, and they got the lob, and just you know. Nava is a good blow-by player, you know, left-handed, tricky, good finisher on the uh, off the high glass there. But you know, we were able to outscore them. Had a seven-point lead here at halftime, and obviously they came in, played a little bit of a different lineup than maybe they did the first time around. Yeah, it appeared that was part of uh, coach's plan to go a little small, and uh, I think it helped them on offense because it was hard for us to guard. But on defense, you know, we were able to take advantage also. And uh, Hank had a big game. I think that was part of the reason. The other part was, you know, Hank just played really well, and he's talented, and you know, he can make some of those shots just like Isaiah Johnson made there that, you know, are tough to defend. Put up 59 points uh, here in the second half, and again, D'Angelo Hughes uh, getting contributions from everybody, every guy that took the floor. That, that's the plan. That's the requirement. You know, when we stick you out there, we're asking you to perform your, your role and perform it well. And um, you know, there's a couple of nice plays by D'Lo hitting that three and and uh, assist in there to, to Hank, and you know, that's, that's what we ask our guys to do. So it's your, your number's called, so you know, go out there and make the plays that you know you're comfortable to make. With the win here, uh, you improved to 27-1 and one on the year, and uh, obviously winning the outright championship here in the GLIAC and the number one seed for the conference tournament, but still two big games to play uh, here in the regular season against Purdue Northwest and Grand Valley State this coming week. Yeah, I've said it a few times now, but you know, we just, the way we're programmed is just to make every game a big game. So the next one's a big game, the one after that's big, and we have a lot of goals that are still ahead of us that are available for us to accomplish. And if they disappear and somebody else, you know, gets the tournament title or, you know, a number one seed in the region or, you know, our all-time win record is, you know, up for grabs this year. So we're, we're trying to do some things, and uh, as long as they're available, we're going for them. Obviously, uh, Purdue Northwest, you uh Played you close uh, in the first matchup. Grand Valley State, always a rivalry game. And along with that is senior day. Uh, just talk about the, the senior class, what they've meant. And obviously uh, two of the guys that have played all four years, Noah King, Drew Cushingberry, go out as the, the winningest seniors uh, here in school history. Yeah, this, this class is, is an amazing class with accomplishments that are, you know, just a long list. And uh, I can't even begin to explain how, how good that they are. And I, I say it in a lot of our interviews, a lot of our, our shows here, but... We have good players, great players, and, and that's, that's the truth. It, it starts there, it ends there. These guys have done things that no one else has done before, and they've done it with, with class and character, and I uh, couldn't be prouder of, of the group. Well, Coach, congratulations again. Best of luck this week as you host Purdue Northwest Thursday, Grand Valley State on Saturday. Thank you. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.